What's up, YouTube? This is Steven Josie, the one and only. Welcome back to the Unknown Pharaoh. And for today's topic at hand, I'm going to tell you why you, yes, you, should not send your child to public school. Here are my top seven reasons. Reason number one is you get to design the curriculum. Now, what I mean by that is this. In my household, financial literacy is number one on my priority list. Think about your own life. You're thinking about money 24 seven. And the reason you're thinking about it so much is because you don't have much of it. And the reason you don't have much of it is because you went through school K through 12, and they never taught you about how to manage your finances. The school system will never teach you about money. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. That is a problem. So to keep from, keep your kid from having the same problems, we, my wife and myself, decided to put my child in homeschool so we can teach him about finances so he doesn't have to think about money as much as we do. Thanks, dude. Reason number two is you get to focus on your child's weak points. Now, every kid is great at some things and not so good at other things. For example, your kid can excel in geography, maybe terrible in math. So if your kid excels at geography, you may not want to spend so much time teaching him about that stuff because he's already good at it. Whereas if your kid's not good at math, you can focus most of the curriculum on his inefficiencies at math. Great way of teaching. The problem with public school is that if your kid isn't good at math, the class isn't going to slow down because they have a deadline to meet. They have to move from lesson to lesson. So if, you're, if your kid can't grasp addition or subtraction, then they're just going to pass over your kid and your kid is going to be deficient in that area, which is going to hold him back within the future of public school. Big problem. Do not do it. Reason number three is your kids are like your money. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kids are like money? No, they're not, Stephen. Yes, they are. Think about it this way. No one cares more about your money than you do. Same with your kid's education. No one should care more about your kid's education than you do. Now, even if you send your kid to a public school and their teacher is awesome, excellent, great, amazing, there's no way he can love your child more than you can love your child. And in addition to that, the ratio is 1 to 16, 1 to 20. So your teacher cannot even put as much time into your child as much as that he may like. It's just not possible. He has way too many kids to look after. All the more reason to go with the homeschool option is because your child is getting 100% of your attention. You're focusing on that child and that is it. You don't have to worry about disruptive kids, kids coming in sick, um, you know, kids being distracted, none of that stuff when you're in a homeschool environment. Now, number four, the fourth reason you should not send your kid to public school is because when you send them to a public school, you don't know who they're hanging out with. Prime example is my life. Now, my mom had an idea on who my friends were, but as far as she knew, I could have been, I could have been smoking weed behind the bleachers, shooting heroin smoking crack cocaine. I could be doing a whole bunch of things and my mom would not have noticed at all. I'm addicted to marijuana and crystal meth and crack. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in a homeschool environment, that stuff's not going to happen. Uh, teen pregnancies, that stuff is going to be greatly reduced if they're only at the house. Things such as that, you can control their environment a lot more than you could within a public setting because there's a bunch of random elements that you cannot account for within a public situation. Let's move on to number six. The expenses, or sorry, number five, the expenses are extremely low. Now, when you go to public school, when you go to public school, and I speak, and I speak from firsthand experience because I went to a public school. When you go to a public school, you have the back to school specials where you go buy the binders, the expensive backpacks and crayons and markers and things such as that, school clothes. But the money that you spent on those Converse's, those Jordans, those uh, expensive polo shirts, you could be putting that money into your kid's education. My kid today, 
I mean, he wakes up around five or six a.m. He gets started with work. You know what he's wearing when he's going when he's wearing when he starts engaging in a public in uh, homeschool. He's wearing his underwear. He's wearing his pajamas. You know what I'm saying? And that money that I could have spent on clothes, I'm spending it on books. I'm spending it on outside activities. So the expenses are low and you can use the money you would have used on school clothes and other things on developing your kid even more. Let's move on to number six. Number six, and I'm a big, big advocate of this, is taking responsibility. Now, when you send your kid to public school, the good thing is that you can blame it on somebody else. If your kid turns out to be trash, garbage, crap, terrible, you can blame it on the public school system. That is not the way to go. But when you homeschool your kid, the only person you can blame is yourself. You get to take responsibility for that. So if your kid is a horrible contributor to society, that will be your fault. If he is an amazing contributor to society, that will be your fault as well. You receive the benefits and you can receive and you can receive the potential downfalls of homeschooling. But the moral of the story is if you're a great parent, what I know you are, that's the reason you're looking at this video, is because you know that you will teach your child well and you will make him better than some random school teacher could ever make them. And the final reason is that your child's education is not determined by the zip code. Now, what that means is this. If you live in a poor neighborhood, nine times out of 10, the nearest public school that your kid can go to is going to be terrible. That's just- What kind of shit is that? I, I say that with from experience is that I was my neighborhood when I grew up was not very good. It was so bad that my mom decided to fraud, fraud her way and saying that I lived at someone else's house so I can go to a different public school. That is a large problem with homeschooling. You don't have that problem because if you live in a poor neighborhood, a terrible neighborhood, that doesn't matter as much because you are able to educate your own child so you cannot blame that on anybody you can't blame it on the zip code you can't blame it on the public system you can only take responsibility for it and make your kid be the best that he could possibly be because you the parent care more about your kid than anyone else does on planet earth therefore you should take responsibility for their education so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think please like comment, subscribe. With that being said, this is Stephen Josie with The Unknown Pharaoh. I'm signing out. Peace. Mm -hmm.